And today I'm here with Mary Colarudis and Michael Trout, two presenters in our upcoming Birth Trauma and the Professional series. And it's so wonderful to have you both here. I am such a big fan of your work. Both of you, you have different work and you work together. You made this wonderful book, See Me as a Person. And I've invited you to come and you know give us your wisdom around seeing the staff as a person. So would you be willing just to talk about yourselves and what you're going to present in our series? Great. Well, as you'd guess, I'm the Michael of the pair. <laughs> um, I spent 45 years working with mothers and fathers and babies, uh, trying to support their finding each other, discovering each other, connecting to each other. Um, little did we know until we started thinking about writing this book, See Me as a Person, that there would be a metaphor in that clinical work with families for uh, big, difficult system work uh, mm -hmm. in hospitals. And we'll get into that in our presentation, but the, the short version of it is that, that what a mother does with a baby is very much like what I wanna do with the mother when she can't find the baby which as it turns out is very much what a nurse or a physician needs to do with a patient, which it turns out is very much what the administrator needs to do with the nurse or the physician trying to do that. All up and down the line, the story is really the same. Yes. I need desperately for you to shut up and be with me, mm -hmm. have presence with me, listen to me, mm -hmm. see me, really see me. Each one of those characters up and down that scale, beginning with the baby and the mother, mm -hmm. we think need a similar thing, which mm -hmm. means then to me, uh, probably looking at this way too much as a, as a Quaker from Eastern Indiana, mm -hmm. where things are solved one at a time, one person at a time. Mm -hmm. but, but we really do think that when folks are feeling overwhelmed by a system, there's really no place to start except with right this minute with this particular patient or this particular staff person or this particular baby and see what we can do to, to bring presence right. and see what happens with that. Mothers don't worry about healing all the babies of the world. Mothers worry about healing this baby. Right. I never worried about all my other patients when I was with this mom. And a nurse or a physician on the unit can't worry about the whole system right now. All they can do is be present for this patient. And as it turns out, just as is the case with the baby and the mother, uh, as it turns out, if that staff person can be present with the patient, a, a loop is created where the staff person gets uplifted, as does the patient. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Michael. That's exactly right. Spot on. Mm -hmm. Mary? So I've also been in practice for decades and began in um, maternity. I was a labor and delivery nurse for about 10 years. And so learned a lot uh, in those times for both my leadership and this work that we're doing right now, because I learned from the mothers. And being present with the mothers brought that that loop of satisfaction Michael is talking about. And I kind of became devoted to wanting that kind of presence to care for anyone who enters the healthcare system. And so my work has evolved to being a part of a company that mm -hmm. takes relationship-based care into organizations. And why that's important right now is through the pandemic especially, the vulnerability of the healthcare team has really um, been more visible to us as a society and to organizational leaders. There's tremendous, un there's a, been a tremendous increase in understanding that in order for people to provide the kind of present care that Michael is talking about, to, they have to also take care of themselves. And that's been talked about forever. But I think there's much more strength being put to it. The Surgeon General has a whole advisory committee on preventing burnout and staff. 
uh, the hospital association is saying it's up to organizational leaders to create an environment in which staff well-being is is really present. Mm. So I think it's a great time to apply what we know about personhood for the patient to personhood for each staff member. And just to kind of the foundation for me is in order to be compassionate and attuned and hold a patient in your care, it has to start with you being compassionate, attuned, and holding yourself in care because you cannot give what you can't, you don't have. So that's the approach that I take and look forward to talking more about that. Well, we're very excited to have you. And for those listening, um, information about how to register or more information about our series will be connected to this video. We start August 31st and we go for six weeks until October the 5th. Mary and Michael will be presenting on September the 14th. The name of their presentation is See Me as a Person, the Importance of Care and Compassion for Oneself and Each Other. So thank you for listening and we'll see you there.